What is up everybody? Thanks for checking out Hunt, Shoot, Live. Super pumped about today's episode. I have another flashlight from Vast Fire to review for you guys today. Now I'm going to talk about the specs here and then I'm going to show you some footage from the field actually using this thing at night. So this is the Vast Fire VAF04. I will put a link to this product in the video description. That way you can jump straight to it on Amazon. Fast Fire makes a really great affordable product, but uh, I, would, I wish they would get a little more uh, creative with their names. It's hard to find some of their products. So anyway, the VAF04 is a green LED hunting light. This is a USB rechargeable aluminum flashlight that is made for hunting at night primarily because it is green and it has the zoomable function. It's coming in at about six ounces. It's around seven inches long. And they're advertising this thing as broadcasting at 2,000 lumens. The VAF04 is waterproof and dustproof. It comes with your standard cap uh, and lanyard and a scope mount that has your Picatinny mount as well as a barrel clamp if you wanted to use that. It comes with the pressure switch cap and your uh, little Velcro attachment for wherever you want to attach that if, if you so choose. Got your Allen wrench for your mounts. And then it also, in addition to using the 21700 battery, I'll talk more about that in a second, it comes with this little adapter that allows you to use three AA batteries instead of the 21700. And of course, with, as with all your Vast Fire products, it comes with this nice little green snap case that you can put your flashlight in or use and put other things in. Nice little hunting type case in green. This flashlight has five different settings. So this is a little fancier looking than some of the other Vast Fires that I have reviewed. Uh, the other Vast Fires were great, but this one just maybe uh, they're trying to improve on their tech a little bit and I think they certainly did. But it has this switch on the front. You press that and you can see it lights up green and the flashlight is also on. It immediately turns on to the high setting. You click it once, it goes to medium. Again, it goes to low. Your fourth click puts it into strobe, and then your fifth puts it into SOS. And then if you hit it the sixth time, it turns it off. Now, you can also, let's say we've got it on and it's on high, and we want to turn it off, you hold that same button for two seconds and the flashlight turns off. It does not have a memory. So let's say that we are on the strobe setting for whatever in the world reason, and I turn it off. It is not gonna turn back on to strobe. It's gonna turn on to the high setting again. It cycles from the top every single time. So if you know that you wanna go to low, as soon as you turn it on, you'll have to click it two more times after you turn it on to get it down to low. And if you, you can turn it off that way, as I said, the sixth click turns it off. But I think the easiest thing to do if you're, you know, it's on high and you're using it and you're done, just push the button, two seconds, turns it off. I, I, honestly, in hunting scenarios, I very rarely use the lower setting that a flashlight has. I have a super, super, my best, most powerful flashlight is my weapon mounted flashlight and then I use another one that is not as powerful that casts a more broad beam and uh, that's that's sort of what I use as my scanning lights. It's, I don't really need to be changing back and forth because um, it is hard. You will find out if you've not night hunted before, you, it's really hard to use the same light for your scanning light and for your shooting light. So you'll want to have two. This could be used for both. You could use it on the, uh, the high or the medium setting, certainly would be good. Uh, in the broad beam, and that would be a good scanning light, or it makes a good uh, weapon mounted light with that focused beam as well. I'll show you some footage from the field, hopefully my sound was good, and, uh, and you can kind of tell what's going on. Okay, I got the Vast Fire VA F04. This is a green hunting light. Now, uh, obviously it's pitch black out, and uh, I've got the Vast Fire on its wide beam on its brightest setting. Now, let's go through the settings. You start, you got the brightest, and it goes down one, two, goes to this flashing, a slow flashing, 
and then off. So you've got three main light settings and the first one you press is the high light setting. So let's just play with the high here for a minute. It's, every, it's illuminating everything around me really well. I've got a campsite set up here. I'll show you around here. So definitely All right, so you saw that everything easily there. Around, uh, you know, you got 30, 40 yards. Now I'm sure if you're catching eye shine, it's gonna be a lot more than that. But let's start zooming this thing in. About 200 yards to the top up there. About a hundred yards. It's always so difficult reviewing these hunting lights at night just because the camera doesn't ca do it justice. But I am shining it on the top of the hill up there, and you've got you you're not going to identify an animal at that range, but you're going to catch eye shine for sure. Just like any other vast fire flashlight that I've done a review on, this one seems to be really nice. Now you got the medium and the low setting. Obviously, you know you you lose some range when you go to those, but uh, if you wanted to save some battery life, but I think I would use it full throttle. Now, if you want to turn it off, you just hold it for a few seconds, and it goes off. And then uh, push it to turn it back on. Okay, so you can put it on, let's put it on low, hold it for a few seconds, it turns it off. Now when you turn it back on, it goes back to high every time. It resets automatically to the high setting. And then you had to cycle back through if you wanted low or if you wanted those strobe features for whatever reason that you'd want those. I have no idea why you'd want that on a hunting flashlight. But either way, hold it for a few seconds, two or three seconds. Let's see. One, two, yeah, two seconds. But when you turn it back on, it's going to be back on high beam. Now let's talk a little bit more about the battery. The 21700 is bigger than the 18650 that I'm used to being in my vast fires and that I've got in all my other hunting lights. So I don't like the fact that they have changed the battery. But here's why they've changed the battery. So first off, a bigger battery, they're boasting some higher uh, times that you're able to use the, the unit. They are advertising six hours on high, eight hours on mid, 10 hours on low, 12 hours on strobe, God help you if you had to watch that for 12 hours and then 14 hours on the SOS signal. So that's pretty cool. I know with my 18650s, you get, using them on high, you get about three hours for an 18650. So if you can use this 21700 on high for six hours, that's double of what an 18650 is. I've not hunted with it yet, other than just testing it out in the field briefly. Uh, so it's not been tried and true to see if that six hour number is right. I've got to assume they're probably fudging good just a little bit. But, uh, you know, three hours could be expected. If it's getting four or five, you're definitely doing better than what the 18650 does. Now, here's the reason, really, that they've went with this 21700. This is also, this, this has USB and USB-C functions. So if you turn it over on the back and you flip open that little rubber protective cap, you'll notice that there is two... Uh, there's an input and there's an output there. So there is a input for you to be able to charge this. So this vast fire does not come with an external charger because you char you plug your charger directly into this. And it also has a USB port because this bad boy functions as a charger as well. So 
It's a power bank. You can charge your cell phone with this. And I did try it. It does charge your cell phone. And you can, if you, you can do it. I don't know why you'd really want to, but you can use the flashlight at the same time as you're charging your cell phone. So that is a very cool feature. I don't like the fact that it uses a different battery from my other lights. I do like the fact that, that it seems to be it's a bigger battery and you can, you've got a power bank here. So you've got a flashlight and a power bank, a cell phone charger, all in this one little unit. So that's pretty cool. As far as performance, I don't think that this performs any better really than previous Vast Fires that I have reviewed. You guys can certainly go back and check out those different reviews. I'm a fan of Vast Fire because they, they are just unbeatable for the price. They perform very, very, very close to flashlights I have that I paid three and four times as much for. So you can't really go wrong with any of the Vast Fire products that I've done reviews on. And certainly that's the case with this one in green. So I, I like everything about it, um, except I really like red better than green. I only use red, to be honest with you, so I won't be using this flashlight because I use red only. But, you know, this thing functions more, you know, it doesn't have to be a hunting light. So I probably will keep this around on, on camping trips and things, maybe even in my truck, just because it has that power bank function. So that is really cool. That is a really cool feature to have. Anytime you can dual purpose an item that you're taking into the woods, back into the mountain on a camping trip or whatever, you know, that's that's just win-win. So I like everything about this light. If you're just getting into night hunting, this is certainly one to consider. Or if you already use all green products, definitely one to consider. The Vast Fire VAF04. Put the link in the video description. Uh, there wasn't a lot of reviews yet on Amazon. I think there was only like seven reviews. It did have a four-star review out of five possible, but that's because one person gave a really, really crappy review, and they said stuff that I did not... They basically just said it like it didn't work or something like that, and so I don't know what happened with them. Um, I did not have anything bad like that happen, like they were saying, and they were the only person out of those seven that had a bad experience and they gave it one star so that's why it knocked it down to four out of five star reviews so if it wasn't for that one negative nancy this would have had a really good review on amazon check out the link in the video description the vast fire vaf04 it's waterproof dustproof green zoomable flashlight i don't think you'll be disappointed appreciate you guys for checking out hunt shoot live be sure to subscribe if you haven't already Check out our playlists and all of our other videos, our hunts, our product reviews, a lot of different stuff on the channel. Thanks for checking us out. Thanks for being a part of the team. As always, God bless you. We'll see you next time.